good afternoon because I'm late. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Hmm. I honestly could have been back by noon, but I mentioned yard sales and Chris was like, so did you want to go to yard sales? And I was like, yes, <laughs> my girls will wait for me. So, I figured you guys wouldn't mind. I'm just putting on the Ciate Watermelon Burst Hydrating Lip Oil because my lips feel really, really dry. Not killing me. Good morning, Brenda. How you doing, Barb? Bubba, Bubba. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I'm waiting for Sherry to get here so I can show her. Hey, look, Sherry, look. The Caitlin. This was with my, um, there's a lot of stuff in with the essential oil stuff that you sent me. So when I finally organized it, <laughs> I didn't click that. I love that. Um, but when I organized it, I found these. So I figured we'd use them today. Look how much it grew. Like, you guys see that? This little thing, and now it's huge. I don't know how the angles are going to work with my face, but we're going to try it later on. Who else here? Yeah, I know. Afternoon. Good morning. Afternoon, Elaine. Hello, Molly. All right, ladies, let's get started because uh, do you guys get tired after you eat? I always get like, mm, I need a nap right after I eat. Speaking of things, didn't you send me this? I found this in that box. So anyways, Tasha liquid silk canvas. I've been dying to try this. The liquid one. Is that Shelly? What's up, girl? Finally getting some makeup on this face today. And I literally just threw in my extensions and curled them up as quickly as possible. I still want to have my hair in. So this is, what size is this? Five grams? Pretty sure Sarah sent this to me. I've tried the regular silk canvas, but I've never tried the liquid version. It's more like a cream. I thought it was gonna come out like oily, or not oily, but like watery, I guess is the word. I love Tasha. When Ipsy had all that, uh, the $5 little set, I got so many of them and I've been using, um, is it the water cream? Oh, I love it. I've been using it every night. It feels so good. So luxurious. Oh, man. Look at my poor lashes, you guys. I miss Rissa so bad. I don't think, I don't know. We may, may not pull out lashes today. I didn't send any out to do my makeup with just because I don't really need to film. So I feel like I don't really need them. What I really want to try out is our foundation today, which I'm going to go ahead and skip on to. So, Rare Beauty, this is Selena Gomez's brand. I feel like, I don't know, I just wanted to get this one out to you guys as quickly as possible. So, you'll see it in a future what I'm on, what I got. But, I was like, I'm not waiting any longer. I want to try this now while it's still new. So, I got this shade 23N. It does give me, like, Fenty Beauty vibes, you know. So, hopefully this shade works for me. Um, let's see. I think it has the claims on it. Oh, you have to shake it. it has one of those balls in it. Comes with free balls. A foundation elixir that feels barely there while building coverage and boosting your natural glow. She said, remember to shake it well. No. <laughs> Um, I had ball practice and then, um, I had like mentioned on the way to ball practice with Sam and Chris. So I was like, Ooh, it's Saturday yard sales. And then after ball practice, he was like, so do you, uh, you still want to go to the yard sales? I was like, yes. You know, cause I had seen one that had, I feel like I, I don't know. I wanted like something to be able to display jewelry on when I work with jewelry companies. So I had seen one yard sale had like the store nice velvet covered uh jewelry displays or whatever <clears throat> they were already gone when i got there but they did have some nice handmade wooden ones so i got one of those i thought it was pretty cool i feel like this is gonna be too dark for me just because i've been trying to scrub my tan off because holy heck all right here there's just little patches of dry skin i don't know if that's from like me being sick you know what i mean Oh, yeah. Let me put my hair out a little bit. Anyway, so we have some fun stuff to try. Some stuff you probably haven't seen yet because I feel like I'm running out of makeup. 
If you needed some Halloween decorations. Did you see Kelly Strex video? All the stuff she got that was like Thanksgiving from the Dollar Tree, Thanksgiving, Halloween. I got quite a few things. The yard sign that I got got rained on and it was like permanently drooped, like almost completely bent in half. So I had to throw it out, but my pumpkin's doing good. She got a lot of good stuff. Um, she also got these little glass containers that she's using for makeup brush holders and see that that's heart shape that I have all my sponges in so she bought that for her sponges too and I was like mm, I would like have my clean sponges out and can put my dirty sponges back up hey Sarah <clears throat> anyways it's a good one. Oh, a long walk to the Dollar Tree I get it now Laura <laughs> I saw that you were watching some of Jennifer's video and she commented on that. Thank you for showing my sister a little love. Hey, baby. Do you want to come get in front of the camera and say hi to everybody? Oh, he just came for the computer. Oh, Sherry, I have your letter ready, ready, ready for you. It's over there underneath the computer he just grabbed. But I'm waiting on Jennifer to come back. She wants to send you something, too. So we're just going to send out one box. Don't unplug my line or turn it off. He's such a little stinker, my husband. Love you. Don't. Christopher, get out of here. Little stinker. Okay, so 23 in. I don't know. I don't know what else to say about this. <laughs> um. Okay, so the dope. Get out of here. I'm going to put makeup on you. Don't do a fart noise. He's over here acting like he's going to do a fart noise. But anyways, the doe foot on it is almost like pointy. You know, it's kind of like flat right there. And then it points up. I can't do this with you standing there being silly. He's acting like, oh my gosh, that is so cool. <laughs> he said, I was like, oh, it's a doe foot. He was like, no, nah, it's just shocked that you're using a deer foot. Such a gaber. Anyways, here we go. Let's just go ahead. That primer is nice. I feel like I got like an airbrush look off of that. I mean, I had some stuck in my brow, but other than that, here we go. <laughs> it's probably not gonna work. <laughs> Thank you, Elaine. He likes to aggravate. That's my husband's like favorite thing in the whole world to do is just to get under somebody's skin. There's a lot of product in here too. Like I can see it. I can see it. I feel like if you drop this one, you're definitely gonna make a mess. Just set that one down there. But yeah, I feel like my my face definitely doesn't match my body, but I don't know if my body is that color either. So we'll make it work. We've got some cool Natasha Denona bronzer to try out today. I'm just gonna do this all over my face. I always do too much when it comes to a new foundation. I feel like once I get used to a foundation, I know how to scale it back. But with the new ones, I never do. I'm gonna use this Pure Foundation brush that I've had for a little while. I got it when I did. I'm never gonna do them again. The uh, mystery buys, like mystery boxes from Pure, they're always the same thing. Like literally same palette, same brushes. Like I'm not doing it anymore. But anyways, hopefully this works out for me. I'll try it down here first. Oh, I don't know if I like that brush. We'll see. I just don't know. I don't know. Feels a little sparse in the bristles. <laughs> Sam, calm down, honey. He's been uh, easily agitated today. He got mad at the dogs. He got mad at his ham sandwich. He took it and just ran to the sandwich. I was like, cool, you're still eating that. We went to Ham and Goodies, which I've never been. As popular as it is in Knoxville, I've never been. Sam, go get the laser pointer. Get. Roxy got downstairs. She's not allowed to be downstairs. Go get your daddy. Yeah, I definitely did too much on this side, but I think I could blend it out. I stink at color matching. It sounded like my best option when I read um, the description of the shades. I've been trying not to go too dark, 
I think this one's a little too yellow. If they won't get out, just put them in Papa's room, bud. I'll deal with them after. <laughs> He's tore up. <laughs> I don't know what, I don't know if we need like some meditation time, some like sit, contemplate, nothing. Don't do anything, just sit and breathe. Like, I don't know. Um, he was like frustrated at ball too, or not frustrated. He was a little, I don't know, just not quite listening as good as he should. And like his coach told him something and he, he likes to say things that he thinks is funny. Sometimes it comes off as not being funny, but being very disrespectful. So he told his coach, like he said something to him and he said it twice and Sam came back with, I heard you the first time. No, son. These guys are volunteering their time to help you learn how to play this game. No. But other than that, like, that was his one moment. I'm going to grab that beauty uh, sponge <laughs> by Big Giant Triangle and try and get some of the excess off before I do concealer. I like that already looks better. I don't know. Sometimes we have good days. Sometimes we have bad days. And I told him, I was like, it's okay, bud. You can turn your day around when you're having a bad day like that. I was like, sometimes mommy doesn't always act the way I should either. You deal with that all the time with the boys. Yeah, just because you can say something, you know how to say it, does not mean, and even if it applies, does not mean that you should say it. <laughs> this thing is huge. <laughs> I feel like I have a pyramid on my face. <laughs> Oh, God. What else has been going on? I wrote you a letter, Sherry, and I have your stuff ready to go. But in the letter, this is going to be kind of repetitive because, you know, I told you all about my week. But <laughs> work put me on uh, the days that Chris and my dad had jobs, which would mean nobody would be home with the kids. And I told them, you know, when I first started, I was like, I can't work when they have big jobs and Wayne has to go with them. If Wayne doesn't have to go with them and he's home, I can work when it comes to night shifts, but they were only supposed to put me on one night shift anyways. Like I got hired for all days except for one night shift. Unless we're in a pickle, then I'll pick up the occasional second night shift. Well, they've been consistently putting me on two night shifts and I haven't complained. And they're basically putting me on my dad's days off. And when I told them, I was like, oh, whoa. I was like, Wayne requested off. They have a job Wednesday, Thursday, or Wednesday, Friday. I was like, I can't work night shift those days. I can work day shift because the kids are in school, but I can't work night shift. So instead of reworking the schedule, they just took me off the schedule. So on one hand, I was like, well, that stinks. I don't get any hours. And on the other hand, I was like, I'm off till Sunday. <laughs> so whatever. Just let it be. Um, but Chris is trying to push me towards looking for an at work from home job. I'm just trying to give you guys a good view of this foundation. I mean, I like the finish. I don't think I got the best shade for me, but I also don't think I can't make it work. I think I can make this work. I don't think it looks bad after bronzer and concealer. I just think it was a little too yellow for me, but it's a neutral undertone. Yeah, 230 neutral. What am I doing wrong, people? <clears throat> yeah, Verizon's hiring. I just keep forgetting to, like, pull the computer out. <laughs> Send my resume in. So, once I can get that done. See? And then this concealer has, like, a little bit of a pink tone. Whatever. But, uh, Verizon, a couple other places, jewelry, television. Um, I'm going to go ahead and try it. I think I can make it work. I think my kids are big enough that I can I can make it work, but I don't know, man. Oh, why can't we just be rich? That would be a very good stay at home wife. Or not even necessarily why can't we be rich? Why can't I just learn how to live within my means? You know? <laughs> why do I have to buy all the nice things? Why do I have to have such like expensive tastes? I want to live like this lifestyle that requires two incomes, but I don't want to work. <laughs> I mean, I'm not afraid of hard work. That's the thing. Like I've always been a hard worker, but I just don't feel like I have any, I don't get any like real satisfaction out of work. You know what I mean? Like actual, I feel good about my day satisfaction. I did as a business consultant because 
like I would take a manager who was struggling and like help them not to struggle quite so much or give them that boost of confidence that they needed or teach them something that makes their every day easier. Like that felt good to me. I had, there were also, you know, it was a double-edged sword. There were also days where I felt like I've got these women that are working their butt off and I just caused this, this woman to lose her bonus because she was marked out of compliance because they had expired products or whatever. So, I mean, it was a double-edged sword, but at least like, you know, a couple days a week, I was feeling that good feeling, you know, like I was helping people. And if, like, my whole thing about going back to work was like, if I'm going to leave my family, I'm going to make the most money I can. But maybe that's not like enough for me. Although, like, I'm just going to have to wait until I'm older and I don't have people depending on me to like, find a job like I would love to go back to the nursing home and activities and just make people smile all day that would be uh, it was fun it was fun and, and uplifting and I don't know it was pretty awesome I feel like that helped out a little bit I'm gonna throw some pure powder on it I've got the four-in-one pressed mineral makeup in the color golden medium I don't think this one's too dark who knows at this point? I did clean all my brushes this week. All my sponges, they're all clean other than what I've used since I cleaned it. Why don't I go back there, the nursing home? Well, I was living in Illinois when I worked at the nursing home. So the one I worked at is not a possibility. Um, and then Tennessee's minimum wage is quite low. And that kind of job, which is messed up, is basically a little bit above minimum wage. I can work at I wanted to work at Starbucks just so I could learn more about nice coffee and nice coffee machines and quality ingredients and stuff. But I get paid um, as soon as I get past my like, it, I don't know, the first few months I'll be at $14 an hour, whereas even Starbucks is only paying nine. Like the best paying jobs. <laughs> but that, I mean, I don't have any background except for food and working in a nursing home and activities. And I only did that for a couple of years when I was like 19, 19, 18, 19. I loved it. It was like a tailor made position for me. Like just <laughs> your job is just to make sure they have a great day and to make sure that you have things planned and you do a little bit of decor. Like it was just such a good job, but I just don't, I don't want to leave my family at all, but if I'm going to leave my family, I want to leave them for more money. You know what I mean? I really only am at my job for medical benefits to pay as a joke. Yep. Yep. I feel you. Once I start getting insurance taken out of my paycheck, I'll just be working for the insurance too. So I feel you. How you doing, Kaylin? <laughs> you jumped right in, didn't you, girl? Um... Concealer, I use the, sorry ladies, uh, it is the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I love it. I mean, honestly, I grab for that when I'm looking for like a lighter concealer day. Like I'm, I wanted to use it today because this foundation is supposed to be more skin-like, which I would say medium coverage is very accurate because it did kind of help cover my melasma. It didn't dry me out even though I put a lot of powder over it. I think, I think it's pretty good. Uh, definitely not full coverage, but I'm liking it. I, tr I applied for all those places, Elaine. It was like literally everywhere, even Walgreens. <laughs> like, cause I thought I would enjoy that too. You know, I, it's something I'm passionate about. And that's the same thing with like Starbucks, why I applied there. But um, nobody called me. Starbucks was only $9. Uh, Steer Attack, which was more, most similar to what I was doing before, um, requires you to work one week at home and one week out of town. I'm not leaving my family other, every other week, so. <sighs> yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. I don't understand that. Like, um, healthcare is not cheap. How come people don't get paid better in healthcare? Nursing homes aren't cheap. How come people don't get paid better in nursing homes? Like, it just doesn't make sense to me. That's my coffee from this morning. It'll do, I guess. It'll do. All right, let's move on to my brows, I guess. I had a new brow brush, too, from Pure. I feel like I've lost it. Oh, there it is. 
under my eyeshadow palette. But I don't know. I feel like I can be a little lost in my job right now. It's okay because uh, I feel like everything else in my life is, is working out pretty well. And I feel like well, there's like a fuzzy on my face. I feel like life is like that. You know, like you're always going to have something in your life that doesn't seem to quite be working out. You know what I mean? Like, it's been very rare that I've had it all together, you know, like work, home, family, hobbies, me, self-care, you know, like friends, all of that working out. And literally the only thing I'm not happy with right now, other than we have a few things to do on the house outside, the only thing I'm not happy with right now is my job. Like I love what I've created here. <laughs> love you guys. Like I honestly have the best subscribers. I don't even care if my channel does not grow. I mean, I want to do the 4K giveaway. But other than that, I don't care. Like, I don't need this to be anything more than what it is because you guys give me everything that I need. You have no idea. <laughs> I love it. Brenna's jumping right in. She's asking, how's the uh, baby making coming along? Um, I use, like, the Ovia app to track my ovulation. We've been working real hard. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Like, um, yeah. <laughs> such a dork. <laughs> I'm a grown up. I can talk about SEX, I promise you. But, um, I mean, everything's going good. I just feel like it's probably taking us longer because I'm almost 37. You know, there's probably not a lot of eggs in this basket, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Um, Caitlin says between healthcare and daycare, she's almost working free. Exactly. I've tried, I've al almost tried working at the daycare to save money, but I can't do more kids. I drink even more. You know what I say all the time is I would do like the substitute teaching thing because Tennessee is really hurting for sub teachers. But I feel like if I spent all day with kids, when I come home, would I have the patience left for my own children? You know what I mean? But I still want to play games and, and have fun with them. Good morning, emergency right now. Hello, Sarah. Afternoon. It is not morning. And then Laura says, I've only worked one day in my whole life, and it was folding laundry in a laundromat. I've tried to get a job at a theater, but wasn't fast enough giving out change. And, and I got paid to help my aunt out. That would be nice. I mean, Jennifer, she doesn't work, but she does plenty of other things to, like, make money. Um, she has her antique booth. She's trying to build her channel. She has her Etsy page. Um, and then before the, the old man passed away that she was taking care of, she was spending a couple days a week over there working basically 24 hours a week within two days. Or 48 hours a week within two days because she would stay for a full 24 hours or 12 hours or something like that. So she was... But once he passed away, I feel like her heart broke a little, which is, that's hard. That's what's hard about senior care is you're going to lose them. But I thought, I always look at it as what an amazing opportunity to be there and try to brighten the last part of their life. You know, like my dad's never had it easy. Never. He, the one time in his life, he was happy. He still had to deal with him you know, um, just drama from having, uh, you know, an ex-wife and four kids. And then not long after they finally got settled and they had the boys, uh, when they got cancer. So he's like never had it easy. So, you know, I hope that at least that his, when he can retire, that he gets to enjoy himself or that he finds some peace and some happiness. So anyways, Oh, what are we saying? What are we saying? Oh, Brenna, I can't wait. I just worry, like, does Nadine West have maternity clothes? What are we going to do about that? I'm going to need one of you guys to come over here and try on all the clothes from Nadine West, if you don't mind. Laura published a book. Laura, where? So put a link in. Everybody's asking. Sarah wants to know, too. Put a link in. We'll support you. For sure. Oh, my Lord. Okay. I think I'm about done with my brows. I use the... I feel like I've used this a lot lately. Um, ooh, I like romance novels. It's on Amazon. <laughs> oh, Laura. 
Um, it is the Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Mousse in the color Taupe. I feel like I use this one a lot, and I had a feeling it would look good with this foundation, like the undertone of it. Are you leaving us, emergency? Yeah, me and Sherry both, man. We're a sucker for, I love it when you're reading your book and you're like, oh, and you kind of look around like, oh, it's getting juicy. Oh my gosh, it's getting juicy. And you're like, I'm not reading anything bad. Don't look over here. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's move on to my eyes. I got, finally pulled the Dominique Cosmetics palette out that I got, what was this, a boxy charm? I don't remember if it was a boxy charm, but if it was, it's been, it's been a good long while. I do feel like I'm running down the eyeshadow palettes. Like, soon we'll be to just single eyeshadows. <clears throat> I may have to go back later and improve it, Laura, because sometimes when you put a link in, it doesn't work. But if you want to send it to me um, on Instagram, I can share it with anybody that wants it. You guys just send me a message if you want Laura's link. No, I haven't gotten my Influencer box yet. I'm getting perfume. I'm so excited. Although it's Burberry. <clears throat> and any of the Burberry... <laughs> any of the Burberries, I've not liked. All right, ladies. I'm just going to play around. Because I do also have the Natasha Denona Chroma Crystal liquid eyeshadow in the shade moonstone and it's kind of a like a rose gold pinky no champagne just kidding so i kind of want to make something work with that i feel like toasty will work really good but i think i can do sweater weather can you guys see all that i think i can do sweater weather underneath toasty and it might still look okay or it might look a hot mess but we'll find out yeah that's how 50 shades of gray is <laughs> Sherry? <laughs> okay. Like, I thought this was a little weird, but whatever. Like, they're a very open family. But we actually went and saw the sequel to Fifty Shades of Grey with my mother-in-law. <laughs> and, like, my sister-in-law, brother-in-law. Like, it was a family thing because they loved the first movie and they read all the books. So, it was like a family thing. I was like, that's not awkward at all. It's sitting beside my mother-in-law. Like, I'm going to need to be on the very end, Chris. On the very, <laughs> the very end of the row. But it was cool. It was like, um, like, it was, was in Sweetwater? No, not Sweetwater. Athens, maybe? Anyway, yeah, Athens. And it was like the little movie theaters, like, grand premiere of it and so they had masks for everybody and we all got dressed up so it was fun it wasn't a bad night it just only slightly awkward <laughs> laura says she loves 50 shades of gray yeah it's really good isn't there another one out or coming out it seems like sweater weather is gorgeous i feel like this would look really pretty with some purple shades too which there's, this is like a deep, deep, deep plum. And then we've got chill. But I'm not going to play with those yet. Not yet. Got like the littlest, most pointiest brush that I had. And I figured I could go back in to Toasty with a bigger blending brush. And kind of put it above it. I've been trying to step outside of my comfort zone. I just feel like when I'm here with you guys, thank you, Frankie. I um, I kind of go on autopilot because we're chatting, you know? And then it's always the same look. But I've been watching Bailey Sar Sarian a lot. And she does different kind of eye looks. And she's definitely more deeper and darker tones. And she does a lot of wings. And I'm trying to learn a little something for us. I don't know what I'm gonna do about Halloween, y'all. I've gotta find a good, like, costume. Like, I don't wanna put crap on my face. <laughs> so I'm trying to find some good costume makeup that's not gonna be bad for my skin. Caitlin, how do you fall asleep during Fifty Shades of Grey? How do you do that? Especially with your husband right beside you. <laughs> 
Oh goodness, I can't say anything. I I pass out all the time. Chris likes to be like, okay, see you tomorrow. <laughs> Every time he can tell I'm getting sleepy. I told him, I was like, it's a good thing that I'm going live because otherwise I'd end up back in the bed after eating that sandwich. It was so good. Hey, Renee. What's up, sister? We tried the new Rare Beauty foundation today and I think it's looking pretty good. I didn't get a perfect shade for me and they have a ton of shades, like 45 shades. So I feel like there's one in there that would be perfect for me, but I think it's hard to tell when you self tan, especially when like your color's never the same. Um, and I got one with a neutral undertone, 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 which usually works for me, but I feel like it was a little too yellow. But I made it work, and I still have to do bronzer. 48, Sherry said. Yeah, I am always quoting stuff wrong. I feel like that still looks purple, but it's okay. I tried adding as much toasty as I could, but that uh, that sweater weather kind of got all over the place. I didn't expect this to have as much fallout as it's happened either. I tried tapping off my brush like I was supposed to do. But yeah, I think if, I feel like Chris is the bonds. <laughs> like he, I was like, I told him at ball, I was like, if we get pregnant, I was like, I don't think I, I was like, I definitely don't want to do a gender reveal party. I was like, but I don't think I even want to know. I think I love surprises. And I think that's like the best surprise that you could get. Just like, you know, first off, having a C-section is horrible. It'd be really cool if I got some kind of surprise in that room, like, it's a girl because <laughs> that's what we're hoping for and I think it would also like I mean I don't know anyways he's not down for that he's not down for being surprised and then when it came to picking Sam's name he already had a name picked out and instead of telling me he let me like go through like all these names that I thought now I have a name because uh, we've been, me and my sister have been talking a lot about my great grandparents. My great grandmother was like uh, a descendant of Polish royalty. I, oh my God, I need to know. <laughs> um, and uh, her name was Tilly. And I just really, really like that name. I don't really want to use it. I think it's cute. Have me a little Tilly baby. Um, okay, for the lid shade, because I believe all these are matte, right? Sweater weather, aren't they all matte? Yeah, yeah, all matte. So instead of using one of those, I'm gonna hold off and we're gonna use the Primer is Everything by The Balm. It's the new, new, neutral primer, I almost said nude primer, but it's pretty much the same thing, right? I'm gonna use that on my lids before we do that. I actually like that sponge. I didn't think I would like the shape of it. <laughs> I would love that. Brennan's not even down either. Okay. I asked my boyfriend if he liked this name and he said it sounds like an old person name. Eloise Rose. I love Eloise. I have a friend named Eloise and she goes by Ellie. And it's so cute. Who cares? You know, I think old is classic is what he means to say. I like it, Eloise Rose. Let me just tell you, my friend that's named Eli, El, Eloise, Ellie, she's stunning. And she is beautiful inside and out. Like She has an amazing personality, huge heart. So I'm going to say yes, because the only Ellie I know is perfection. I love this primer. I'm so glad to have a full size. Sometimes I can't dig down far enough in my eyeshadow drawer and find the palette that has this in it. So I'm gonna keep this probably up with like my mascaras and stuff. So I feel like that drawer's easier to go through because it doesn't have so much in it. I gotta do something about my palette organization. I may have Chris print me out something so I can like display a few more palettes. <laughs> yeah, it's, uh, I don't, I need to do like the 23 and me and find out like how exactly, I think she was like, um, descendant of a duke, but anyways, 
My son's middle name is Agnes because my mother hates it. We wanted to mess with her. My dad wanted me to name Sam's middle name Danger. So Sam could say, Danger's my middle name. And he was going to buy all of the diapers until Sam was out of diapers if we named him Danger. But Chris would not do it. I was down for it. Chris would not do it. Um, that's what I told him. We can call her Ellie or L. You, you have to have a name that you can grow into. I agree. I love Eloise. is so beautiful, too. I mean, I could see her wanting to go with that. It would be cool to, like, find out more about my grandmother. I know Jennifer's been digging. Maybe she'll find something for us, and I can tell you guys more. Yeah. I would love to go to Poland one day, too. I mean, I don't know what the conditions are there. I don't really know my Polish history, so... I feel like you don't hear a lot about Poland, you know? I don't think we learned a lot about Poland in school. What would be girls' names that you like? I have them on my phone, which I'm talking to you guys on. <laughs> so, uh, I mean, right now I'm really stuck on Tilly. Uh, Chris had a sister that didn't make it past birth, and her name was Tatum. So, I like the idea of putting Tilly and Tatum together, but I'm not sure how to do that. <laughs> and both of my other kids have two middle names, so I feel like it'd be weird if this one didn't. So, Carly's names are Carly Ann Marie Johnson, and same as Samuel Allen Lee Geiger, because he has his, his grandfather's, grandfather's first name, and his other two grandfathers' middle names. Or, well, his great-grandfathers. My grandfathers. Whoa! God, this is like... Liquid gold here. It's really pretty. I'm gonna take a brush and, and like, soften it out a little bit. But I just wanted to place that on top of that primer. I like how their doe foots are on these it's not it's not just like a lipstick thing you know what I mean it's like flatter I feel like this is easier because I'm not having to worry about taking this thing and putting it at an angle it's already at an angle I'm gonna stop there because I feel like I'm gonna get it everywhere and I'm gonna grab the brush that I put the primer on with and just kind of pull it down soften it out Yeah, I spent all day Wednesday cleaning the house and like cleaned my house so good. I was like wanting people to see how clean it was. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like someone needs to come visit me. My house is super clean. I even had like the frou-frou put on the bed and everything. So I call like the decorative stuff that I have for my bed. I hung some stuff. That's what my husband gets for leaving his drill out. I played with it and hung some stuff up. And I thought I did pretty good. He was teasing me that one of them was crooked, but I think he was just teasing me because I've been, I've literally stood there and stared at him. I was like, I don't think it's crooked. <laughs> good morning, Kendra. Brenda says her boyfriend hates every name that she likes. You know what I don't get is why the heck men give us crap when I'm the one that's going to have to have surgery so that you can have this baby, okay? Not only, not just surgery, but conscious surgery. I have to be awake knowing my bottom half is open and spread out to the world. Um, and then not only that, but I hate being pregnant. <laughs> I love, you know, having children, but the whole being pregnant thing, just, I'm not a big fan of it. If, like, we weren't... So curious to see what a girl would look like from us, you know, Sam having um, a little sister that looks so much like him and stuff. Like, I would totally be down for adopting. Um, and, like, I don't even care what age. Like, I, I just love the idea of taking someone who may or may not have, you know, a good upbringing and just giving them what we have, which is a really laid back household um, that has a lot of love in it, you know. Like, we're goofy, we're fun, we don't take ourselves too seriously, but at the same time, we have ambition and goals. 
I'm going to use Messy Bun, which is the dark purple shade, and just pop a little bit here. Just a little. And I'll probably use that underneath the lower lash line, too. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys are chatting. I love it. Um, I had Autumn Joy for a girl and Hunter Wren. Oh, I like that, Sherry. Wren. Oh, there's a girl in one of my shows. Her name is Wren. Joy is my mom's middle name, and Wren is a combination of Raymond and Franklin. Oh, I love that. With us, my father-in-law and dad's middle name. That's so cool. I hated pregnancy. I didn't glow. I'm sweaty and angry. <laughs> yes, Caitlin. I feel like a bad woman, like... Someone should take my estrogen card when I say I hate being pregnant. I'm like, we're trying, but ugh, I don't want to be pregnant. I, I, I'm I, probably, it's probably a lot of vanity just because I feel like I, I battle with self-confidence. But when I feel good about the way my body looks, like it, it's a good, quick, easy boost for my self-confidence. And then, so basically, I just have low self-esteem the whole time I'm pregnant. And I know that's, like, horrible to say because you're pregnant. You're carrying another life. You're supposed to gain weight. Like, there's, I know all of this. My conscious mind knows all of this. But my, <laughs> my, oh, I'm going to feel bad for myself. Like, unconscious mind. Just, like, I don't know. Like, we're our worst critics, right, as women. And... The chick that talks inside of me when I'm pregnant is just horrible. <laughs> I don't know. I don't feel sexy. I feel like say goodbye to my sex life for a year because, I mean, I'll do it. But it's not as fun when I look down and I see this big old belly. So, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. <laughs> You're fine, Sherry. <laughs> You're fine. Okay. We picked Duke Wayne for a boy, but three girls later, we've given up on that dream. <laughs> oh, my dad's name is Wayne. And so when he had my brother, who is three days short of a year younger than me, he named him John Wayne. He is a big John Wayne fan too, obviously. But I mean, not my brother, my dad. Uh, I don't know how all that I don't know how that all feel like yet, but hopefully soon. School first. Oh, you don't know what having a baby feels like. Okay. Well, come talk to me if you don't dig being pregnant because I'm not shy about it. I want another baby. I do, I do, I do. <laughs> but A, I don't want to leave the kid like I left my life, last two children. Like I was back to work four weeks after having those C-sections. And I wanted more time with them. I wasn't ready to leave them. And then, but yeah, I hate being pregnant. <laughs> After having two boys, I don't know if I can handle a girl. Um, I didn't know if I'd be a very good boy mom because I had Carly. But, you know, Carly's not girly. She's She'd be happy with being a boy. So, um, I feel like I don't have a, like a girly daughter. So, it's, it'll be interesting for me too. But I think I can handle it. Oh, no, you're fine, Glenda. Late is better than never. We're just chatting. We're talking about, uh, like, baby names and stuff. Jerry's birthday today. Happy birthday, Jerry! Whoop, whoop, whoop. What are you guys doing? My dad and my father-in-law's middle name is Wayne. My hubs also loves John Wayne. And, of course, they call him the Duke. Oh, I love it. So it all tied in. This is mom, Glenda said. Like my mom? I'm confused. <laughs> Are you my mommy? Okay. Um, I was named after Laura from General Hospital. My brother was named Brian Jones for the Rolling Stones. I think my parents just stumbled upon Karen, liked it, and had a friend or a cousin or something like that named Karen, so they changed the spelling. And both of them say they came up with it. Neither one will be like, no, really, it was your mom. Yes, your mom. I'm on Glinda's phone. I was like, what? Like, my mommy? <laughs> Are you my mommy? I was just talking crap about you. 
Not really, but seriously, every time I bring up my name, the spelling of my name, Papa takes credit for it. And I'm like, you know, Mom claims it too, so. Because it is really cute. I didn't dislike the name Karen until, like, people started acting like we're all bees. And now I'm like, why's it gotta be Karen? I've literally never met a mean Karen either. Chris read an article the other day that said the name Karen's on a decline. <laughs> like, people just aren't using it anymore. Um, my middle name is Diane. The funny thing is, okay, so my maiden name was Moreland. M-O-R-E... L-A-N-D. My first name was Karen. Car N C A R I N. So there was a certain grade, I think maybe first grade. <laughs> Love until first grade. I was pretty convinced my middle name was spelled D-I-E-A-N. <laughs> Car N Diane Moreland. <laughs> oh, it was so funny. I remember when I figured it out that I was like, I haven't spelled my name wrong. Um, Shali says she was named after a girl, one of my dad's fraternity brother's girlfriends. My mom liked the name, but didn't care too much for the girlfriend. I've never heard the name Shali before. I love it. And mom's talking. Hang on, mom. I cannot read while I do the liner. I'm not doing a lot of liner today. I don't think, I think that's it. Okay. I'm having more fun talking with you guys. Where are you at, Mom? Uh, we were going to name you after your grandmother, but let... Oh, yeah. But um, Graham didn't even like her name, for one thing. My grandmother's name was Constance Diane, but I like Karen better. Graham always told me... Because, like, I think it was when I was pregnant with Carly. She was like, don't you dare do that to that child. I hate my name. So, I thought, um, <clears throat> like, uh... Her middle name is Sandra, so I don't know. Tilly Sandra something. I don't know. I don't know. It'll come to me. If I even get pregnant, I'm starting to think like, I don't know. Like, I didn't try with my other children. That was kind of like, oh, okay, I'm pregnant. All right. You know, like, wasn't trying with Carly, was not trying with Sam. I just wasn't being as careful as I should have been. I'm using the Tarte Big Ego Mascara. And, um, yeah, so I don't really know what this whole trying thing is like. Like, do most people take a couple months when they start trying they get off birth control? I was on the marina, and I asked the doctor when we had it removed, like, will it be a few months before I can conceive? And she was like, technically, depending on how you're producing eggs, you could get pregnant right after we take this thing out. But um, it's better to let your body heal a few months. Um, you know, like build up the follicles and all that stuff. I don't know. So, you know, we started trying right away. Because, <laughs> I mean, I kind of figured it wouldn't take the first month, you know. And we're ready. We've been ready. I've just been putting it off because I hate pregnancy. I'm going to finally use this matchstick in Trippin'. I don't think I've used it yet. Oh, no momento, guys. I don't want to accidentally use it. If that one, okay. Yeah, no. Okay. So I had, I had gotten three of these in a what I bought and what I got. Like I had ordered them from, no, I ordered them from Sephora. And instead of being the trio, it was three of the trippings. So I put um, one of them on Poshmark, one of them in the Not My Size giveaway. And then I decided to keep one of them, but I haven't used it. Shimmer skin. So I guess it's supposed to be. I'm going to put it kind of like a blush. We're going to use it like a blush today. And kind of go up towards the highlighter. Because I have another highlighter I want to use. But this does have a little peachiness to it. My, Laura says my mom's name was Jill. J-Y-L. And she hated the spelling of it. I think that's cool though. I always like Karen. Like the way I spell it. Uh, I just feel like it's a it's a conversation starter, especially if I have a name tag on, which most jobs I have. And um, I, <laughs> corny, like I'm really dorky. And I'm like, it's caring without the G, Karen, get it? You know, no, I don't know. I need to come up with something better. Now I'm like, you know, 
I'm glad it's spelled different because all those Karens walking around giving us a bad name. Um, quite literally. Okay, what else do we have here? I'm not going to use the... Uh... So, Natasha Denona Bronze and Glow. We're going to use this bronzer and this highlighter. I don't know if it has shades. Extreme, Glow Extreme. And, oh, maybe not. And blush. That's what they're called. Glow Extreme and blush. Okay. Please don't be broken. Please don't. Okay. It's not broken. It's fine. All is good. I'm going to use my R13 to put the bronzer on. I hope this bronzer works for me because I really like the size of this palette. The fact that it comes with a mirror in it. I feel like this would be good in the travel bag. Pigmented. I expected no less from Natasha Denona. Whoa. Well, I'll be blending that out for a while. Mm, accidents happen. Okay, so we'll just sit here and blend. How you guys doing? How's your day going? Seriously, what are y'all doing today? Because I don't know. After I'm done hanging out with you guys, I have nothing to film. I'm building on what I bought and what I got, but there's not enough to show you guys yet, which is weird. Usually I'm like, hold, like, okay, you need to, you need to film that one. And then it's the one that I get to the end and I'm like, I'm, I'm tired or I want to hang out with the kids or I want to hang out with Chris. And so I'll like put it off and just do it later. Cause I always think, well, I can put a few more boxes in that one. <laughs> oh, oh man. Mom said conversation starter, sort of like Trula. Trula is definitely different, Mom. I don't know anybody else named Trula. Sholly asked me, has your doctor had you take the AMH test? I believe it's supposed to see how fertile you are. It took mine a while to come back, but normal, but I have no idea. Um, No, I just went and got my marina taken out. I didn't plan on going back to the doctor until I got pregnant. Cause Chris is only 28. I feel like we should, I feel like we can do this. We just have to try harder. <laughs> He's not minding it either. You know, the whole like trying for a baby thing. So I'm good. I feel like if we get to this point, you know, maybe next March and we still haven't conceived, then we'll go back and like have them check my, my fertility and all that jazz. Or we'll consider, um, moving past trying to have our own child and go into, I want to be a foster parent. My house just isn't big enough yet, <laughs> especially not with Wayne here, <laughs> my dad in the basement. But like me and Chris have talked about, you know, we could always, my room's already pink. <laughs> we could always put another kid in my room and move downstairs to the basement, you know, and let the, you know, let our family grow more if we wanted to. I love being a mom. I feel like out of everything I've gotten to do in my life, my favorite two things are being a mom and being a wife to Chris. <laughs> I was married before and being a wife to that man was not as fun. <laughs> it just feels amazing to have someone who loves you, is like adores you physically and emotionally and you know, that that's all reciprocated and, you know, I mean, he took, when I was sick, he went out and bought the soup that Graham used to buy me when I was sick. Like, that's how much he loves me. He knew, like, I don't know. He's just, he's perfect. I'm going to use that highlighter now. I didn't even bronze my nose. We'll get back to it. <sighs> what do we got? Oh my gosh, ladies. I've already had you for an hour. I tried Marco Polo and Jennifer to see if she's going to come over today with your goodies, Sherry. We'll see. But uh, the mail hadn't ran when we got here, so maybe I'll get lucky. I also need to get um, that knife out. And I'm still waiting to hear back from So Honey about that winner. Yeah, right? Elaine said, because you're with your soul, made it feel so right. Whoa, Laura. Two miles? Goodness. I mean, I didn't even walk that much. My, like, lower abdomen's been hurting the last couple days. 
I always get asked, where's Johnny? <laughs> like the maybe drives me crazy. I responded. I respond now that I've kicked him to the curb a long time ago. Way to go, Frankie. I think that's a cool name too. I like it. I have one friend named Frankie and she worked in Subway as a regional manager and she's awesome. She's a big sweetie. She's got a big heart. But she's not working for Subway anymore. I don't know what she's doing now. I'm going to do a little bit of this shade in my inner corner and then I'm going to go back and bronze my nose. And then we'll find a lippy, ladies. So I've got a whole bag of lippies. I feel like I am at the same place with lippies that I was at with eyeshadows not long ago. Just so many. But I'd say that's that foundation. Those are like my favorite products to try and buy. I feel like honestly, now that I've bronzed up, used concealer, and like everything's on top of the foundation, I don't think it looks like a bad match for my skin. I am going to blend everything out really quick. I cannot see every mirror. Just a quick little blend. Because it was looking a little bit harsh. I love this brush. It's my favorite powder brush. I could sit here and do this all day. <sighs> it feels so nice. I hear on my face. What are you guys saying? <laughs> I like her already too. <laughs> so she's got a cool name, right, Frankie? <laughs> and I keep keep sending more. <laughs> Um, where are we at? Lips. Why do I never bring out setting spray? I honestly, I feel like that's the thing I forget. I don't forget it when I have to work, but I forget it a lot, a lot, a lot. I need some coffee. Before I do my lips. I mean, we're already like breaking ahead. Should we transform some lip colors? I've had this for a while and it's driving me nuts. Like, it's called a Revive. And it was uh, Jennifer Loves Reviews, is that right, Sherry? That came out with this with Oprah. It's like a trio set that helps you transform all your lippies. And this is the one that's supposed to soften all those really deep shades. <laughs> I have Confess. We could do that. Should we do that? What other dark lippies do I have that I haven't been wanting to try because they're too dark? And that one's not bad. It's a little darker than what I would normally go for. What are you? Oh, this is from Shein. It's their lip gloss. There's so much stuff in here, y'all. I don't even know. Most of it's nudes. But we do have a couple of dark shades we could transform. I say let's do it. I'm dying to know what this stuff does anyway. So I'm going to put on this first. And we'll get to use. We'll use those two. And then we'll throw a gloss up on top of it. Use the maximum amount of lippies. I like having this one. I feel like it's a good one to have in my inventory. Because I do kind of shy away from darker, deeper shades. Let's see what it looks like on its own. So this one is Revive. The only thing I don't like about Oprah's, Oprah's stuff is that it's white and it doesn't last very long. So it's a very like light peachy color. I like the formula though. Okay, so let's do this. Let's put on the Morphe, it is their Mega Matte Soft Matte Lipstick in the shade Confess, which is a deeper brown. <laughs> it is very thick. It will not run over my lips. Okay. It does not glide very well. Like, even my lips won't smoosh together. So, I just made a mess. Okay. It's okay. I have one of these out anyways. I feel like I still missed a little bit. Uh, 
I don't know. I don't know. I'm not a fan of Morphe's matte lipstick. I feel like it's it's too much. Yay, Tracy. How you doing? Jen loves her reviews. I always try and change her name. Well, I mean. Okay, here we go. So this is Revive. We're going to put it on top and see how it transforms this crazy dark lipstick. Hi, Kimberly. That's kind of crazy. It didn't just change the shade of it. It changed the, like, like the formula of this is much creamier. So now I can rub my lips together. I'm going to get a little bit more. That is so cool. It's so pretty. I love it. I'm really glad I got this. I knew I would love it. I feel like I'm going to save myself on so many. I'm over the whole matte lip thing. I won't buy them anymore. I feel like sometimes when you're in a mask, it's like your only option if you don't want to like, you know, talk to your lipstick all day long. But I love that. That Revive from Oprah. I feel like it's going to save me, like the lipsticks that I tend to stay away from, it could turn it into something that I'm really going to love. Speaking of love, how many of these have you guys seen me open and use? <laughs> so it's a Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. It has hyaluronic acid in it. It's such a smooth, it just feels good on the lips. Like honestly, it's one of my favorite things to put on my lips. And this one is in the shade Pearl. If I remember correctly, this is one of the ones, Tracy O wants a shout out. This is one of the ones that I got from CVS, I think, because there's some shades you can only get at CVS. <laughs> I knew what you meant, Tracy. You're good. Oh, I don't know. Was I supposed to, Sherry? Too late. <laughs> Oops. Oh, I just love the way this stuff feels. Oh, that feels good. I should probably do that with like all of my lipsticks because I always turn these like the white sparkly. I always turn them a different color. It's too late. It's turning back in there. <laughs> That's a good thought though. I probably should have. I feel like sometimes with my makeup remover wipes though, the little fibers on them end up coming off. I need to find a better one. These I got at Marshall's for $3.99. Um, I was always getting my makeup remover wipes at Sam's Club, but then I got laid off and they also had to take, had to take my Sam's Club card back with them, little stinkers, because it was, you know, it was a business account. And I think we're gonna end up at Costco whenever we do finally get back to uh, bulk shopping, I guess is the best way to say it. I mean, I like today's look. <laughs> I don't think it's anything too crazy. I did a little bit of wing with the shadow. Nothing too crazy. I like the way it turned out. I'm pretty happy. My hair is crazy today though. I probably should have just ditched the extensions because I slept with it up in a ponytail last night and I have some weird hump, hump at a humps going on back there. Thank you, Elaine. <laughs> I need the compliment. <laughs> I, I figured that's, I honestly read that as you look great, so you're fine. <laughs> I'm a sucker for, like, messing up um, when I'm texting or typing. Sometimes I'll be, like, re responding to your all's comments, and I'll go to hit an emoji, and instead I'll hit the laughy emoji, so it sounds like I'm being sarcastic, and I'm like, no! <laughs> and I try to quickly jump back in there. Mm, how do I do my hair like that with the curls? There's actually a couple videos up, Tracy, that, um, I mean, it's the same thing I've been doing for like the last two years. So you can pretty much go back to any of those, but they're get ready with me hair editions and I use a, uh, barrel wand. So you can always go back and watch those. Elaine says, LOL, me too. Sherry says, beautiful as always. You're so sweet to me. Good friend. 
I was talking to, we had a, I had a friend over that I haven't seen in almost four years. And so we, she stayed here and we chatted on said, Thursday for like four hours. I was like, we needed an hour for every year that we missed together, apparently. And one of the things that I was telling her is like, I don't have a lot of this, like sitting in my house with a friend talking. I was like, other than you guys, like, you guys are the best friends that I have. I mean, it's true. I have a couple other friends that I just, they're awesome friends. They're just too busy for me, you know? <laughs> like, we just don't get a lot of time together. And that's okay. I mean, I don't, shoot, I don't hold any that against anybody because I have a family and they monopolize a lot of my time because that's the way, uh-huh, uh-huh, I like it, uh-huh, <laughs> uh-huh. So, um, you know, it is what it is, but I was talking to her about, like, just how amazed I am that I didn't, you know, like I thought maybe I'd make a couple friends on YouTube. I did not think I would make this many and that you guys would be so amazing. Aw, Frankie, thank you. We're here. I try and do this every Saturday since I don't have a regular Monday through Friday job now. I'll continue to try to do them on Saturday, but the... Uh, Tracy, there's a video it, on my channel if you go to my playlist, but it's just a spiral curling wand, and I just go around and curl them all up. Super easy, but you can go back and watch that video if you want to see it. Aw, thank you, Elaine. I love, I honestly, <laughs> I don't think I'll ever, like, as long as you guys keep hanging out with me, I'm never going to stop this because it's fun and I derive so much joy from it. It, like, these lives are no work for me whatsoever. I just get to come and hang out. But the other videos, you know, editing is not my favorite thing to do, but yet it needs to be done. Sam sometimes will come in here five times while I'm filming a video and I cough and I say things wrong. <laughs> so usually I say things wrong more than anything. So, editing is not always fun. And now that Jennifer has her own channel, she's kind of seeing that, the editing. You know, you love having the content you produce after you're done editing. And you love making the content. But then there's that one middle part that's just like, oh, I don't want to listen to myself say things. I was there when I said it. <laughs> I don't want to do this. I've been trying to add a few bloopers at the end, but most of the time I get frustrated with myself, Elaine, and I'm like, oh, God, just say the right thing. <laughs> you guys don't want to see me having a tantrum because I said one word wrong 50 times. My mom asked me where I learned to do it. I look, oh, Caitlin, she said she told her mom that I taught her. I don't, honestly, I feel like I'm too boring for you guys that I need to do more and that I need to learn more. And that's one of the reasons why I started watching Bailey Sarian. I just feel like with these lives, sometimes I don't really get into trying to do super creative looks. I just like chatting with you guys. But that's what we talked about doing in October was like all creative looks and all like Halloween-esque costume looks. So I'm gonna have to get over that. Maybe that'll be good for me. Like maybe after October, I'll like have a, a good idea of how to balance talking to you guys and being creative at the same time. It, is, it too is forever to talk you into it. <laughs> really hard. Um, I'm so glad you do this. I learned a lot from you and you're such an amazing person. Thank you, Brenna. I feel like I attract people that are similar to me and I don't, not saying like I'm amazing because I don't have that much self-esteem, but I do think I'm a pretty positive person. Even though my life has not always gone the way I want it to, like, what more can we want out of life other than, you know, trying to squeeze as much joy as we can get out of it? So, I think that you guys, I don't know, I feel like a lot of us are like-minded in that way. I also want to say your makeup and hair is so cute. I watch you all the time. Oh, yay, Tracy! Thank you! Um, Robert Welsh. So, I watched a little bit of his videos, but I haven't, like, gotten into it too much, but yeah. I'll do that. Homework for me. <laughs> Sherry puts me to work. She's like, you need to do this. You need to check this out. You need to do that. But it's cool. I like it. She keeps me on my toes. She's good. She's like my little business consultant for my channel. I think I'm sim similar. I'm the, uh, I'm an upstate New York redhead Karen. <laughs> I love it. Upstate New York redhead Karen. 
That's cute. I love redheads. Like, love the color red. Like, there's just, the red hair is just so gorgeous. It's so unique, too. It's not... It's, it's not often you see a beautiful redhead, you know, person. So I had a redheaded stepbrother and stepsister, and I was enamored with my stepsister. So, <laughs> like, if that tells me anything, I was just like, oh, yeah. Anywho, I'm sitting here playing with the label on the Ciate. I didn't know it did that. <laughs> it's the little things in life. But I guess I better let you guys go soon. It's getting to be that time. It's been over an hour. I feel like you guys probably have things to do, yeah? Shelly says, us redheads are pretty awesome. I'm also super into Outlanders on Netflix. <laughs> so I feel like, I don't know. Do you guys have Scottish backgrounds? Just curious. Not trying to go back to the job thing, but when I used to live in Illinois, you would be so close to me. <laughs> uh, Caitlin says, yes. That's pretty cool. I love Outlander. Yeah, it's good. It's so good. Like, I have to be on high alert when the kids are home because they have to be downstairs or in their bedrooms in order for me to watch it. Have I gotten to the wedding episode yet? Yeah. Um, where am I at? Um, I'm in season two, maybe episode six. So, uh, they're trying to help the Stuart Prince with the whole Scottish or the whole rebellion thing. I live in Tennessee. Knoxville, Tennessee. Home of the UT Volunteers. And the Ladies Basketball Hall of Fame. And Dolly Parton. <laughs> Dollywood. And um, Memphis isn't like crazy far from us, but that's Elvis's home. Oh, Tracy says, nice. Tennessee. Yeah. I've always loved living in Tennessee, too. I did live uh, in... Collinsville, Illinois for a little while. Dolly Parton is like, if there's one person in the world that I want to meet that is a celebrity, it's, it's Dolly Parton. I will ugly cry, fall on the floor, probably have a couple seizures <laughs> like, if I ever do get to meet her. Although I feel like I'm not going to get to meet her. I spent so much time working in Savary Bowl and Pigeon Forge and I was just like, let Dolly come in for a sandwich. I will buy her six foot long sandwiches. I don't care. Just come on, Dolly. <laughs> Cause there would, um, she would occasionally still go to the park and the girls would be like, you never know. She might come in here. I was like, you never know. I might go fucking crazy. Oh, <laughs> I might go crazy if she does. <laughs> Elaine says, just go cook lunch for the boys. Have a great day, ladies. Stay safe. Longmire's another good one. And Frankie's from Florida, Fort Lauderdale. Dang. And join, are you, were you okay through all of the hurricanes and everything? One of you guys, uh, the, she's my friend that got to go on the cruise with us, lives in Louisiana, and they're still without power. So, like, she's staying with her dad at a, because um, he has a generator, but, yeah, Ashley's not, not having a good time. She has two houses. She was trying to sell one. The one she was trying to sell is the only one that made it through, but it still sustained some damage. The other house is, I think, going to be, like, a complete teardown. So, I was like, I know exactly how you feel. What do you need? I feel bad because I haven't sent her anything yet. I think you just been my worth some money, honestly. Yes, season is so far for us. Good. That's good. I I miss Florida. I want to go on a cruise so bad. I don't care. Honestly, at this point, I wear a mask the whole time unless I'm drinking or eating. I don't even care. I just want to cruise. I want to go on a cruise so bad. We already have, like, the money ready to go on the next cruise because we got refunded from our last cruise because it we were one of the first cruises canceled. So... Charlie's out in Arlington, Virginia. Um, just a uh, hair edition. Go to the search, uh, Tracy, go to my playlist, and then at the top you can search, and then search hair edition, or get ready with me hair, something like that. Um, any of the hair extension videos, there's quite a few where I 
Um, Brenda, I know, I've, or Brenna, I've sent you some stuff before, haven't I? Because I always thought, is that Fond du Lac? But um, what was I saying? Oh, I'm lost now. Sorry, guys. I started, <laughs> started reading your comments coming through. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm lost. Pigeon Forge is so much fun, Laura said. She lives in Queens, New York, and my dream is to live in Memphis. I don't know if I can handle a big city like New York. I went by and saw Akira. She's going back to Florida in two weeks. That's good. I'm glad you got to see your mom. So you had to go see her. Did you go to did you go to the camper? The campground? Is she there with John? You were talking about the cruise. Oh yeah. So yeah, we uh were one of the first cruises canceled and just drove back. So we didn't actually get our last vacation. <laughs> So we still have, it took them three months to get the money refunded to us. So we still have everybody's money for the cruise. <laughs> yeah, I figured. I figured because he can't, my brother has a daughter, but then he only has a motorcycle. So he can't drive her anywhere. So he has to borrow somebody's car anytime he needs to take his daughter somewhere. Silly, silly boys. Sherry's got to go find a charger. She's at 9%. I'm running everybody's battery out, y'all. <laughs> Mennonite, Wisconsin for Sherry. All right, guys. I I said that wrong. But anyways, I love y'all. I'm going to go see what the boys are doing. Make sure they're not getting any. It's been really quiet, so I'm kind of worried. Um, but Sam also found Legos at the yard sale, which I'll show you guys all my picks that I found at yard sales today because it did pretty good. We only spent $30. We got quite a bit um, on my Instagram once I get them all inside and stuff. But yeah, I'm going to let you guys go. Yeah, you guys are close together. You should hang out. Two of my favorite girls. Oh, I'll be so jealous. <laughs> if you guys hang out, let me know. I want to come too. <laughs> I'll try. Um, all right, girls. I hate saying goodbye to y'all. I just want to stay and hang out with you longer. But uh, I'll have to urinate soon enough. So. <laughs> too much coffee. <laughs> all right. Oh, we could fly to you. You know, I really want to put Chris on a plane. He's never flown before. All right, loves. Love you bunches. Y'all take care. Mama, have a good day. Hi, Glenda. I love you too, Sherry. I swear I'm getting your package out soon. I'm, I swear I have a typed, it's typed because I could not find any paper. Um, letter coming to you soon. It's done. Love y'all. Have a good one. Bye, my loves.